Hi there, this is Ranjit and I have this Lenovo Vibex Android phone and we're going to do the unboxing and have a first on hands on look at the same. Uh, the packaging looks pretty impressive and this is one of their high end phones and it says that it has ultra thin design. It has a 2020 version. It, it has actually a 5 inch screen. That's a full HD 1080p screen and it also says that it has a 13 megapixel and a 5 megapixel camera and uh, Regarding the pricing, uh, the pricing quoted on the box here for India is 26,999. Uh, but I've seen this phone in local stores, etc., for around 25 to 26,000 or so. And I want to thank Faisal Communications for providing this unit for testing. I'll also have the links for Flipkart in the show notes so that you can get the current pricing. And let's just open up the box. Again, we have a box within a box. Again, and as you can see, this is transparent, so it looks pretty cool. And uh, let me open this. And we have the Lenovo Vibex itself. Let me put that to the side and let's see what else do we get in the box. Looks like we have something here inside. And we have the SIM uh, removal tool over here and we also have the product information. And this is the quick start guide also. So just a small uh, note to give you an idea about the basic functionality of the phone. So that we get unlimited warranty info. We keep this to the side and what else do we get and this looks like a box where we have other uh, stuff like the charger etc so let me open this one also and as you can see we get a bunch of things uh, this is the charger uh, right away I would say the quality does not look very premium the plastic uh, quality looks pretty average we have a USB port over here we also get uh, in your headphones and a micro USB to USB cable so let me keep these things aside and let's look at the handset itself so this is the Lenovo Vibex let me take out this protective cover and uh, let me give you a physical overview then uh, we'll boot up the phone on the top we have the 3.5 mm headphone jack and the first thing that strikes me about this phone is it's actually pretty slim it's just 6.9 mm uh, in thickness and let me bring uh, this this is nexus 5 and though the nexus 5 is also a pretty thin phone just look at the vibex it's actually pretty thin and this dual tone silver finish gives it a very good feel let me zoom in so that you get a better idea and as you can see it looks actually pretty uh, good we have the steel finish and the silver backing so uh, let's proceed we have the volume rocker over here and uh, we also have the uh, you can insert your sim card over here and moving down uh, we have the micro usb slot that will be used for charging we also have the microphone over here moving towards this end we have the just the power on off button on the back we have a 13 megapixel camera uh, we also have a secondary mic led flash and uh, this is just a sticker it gives a brief info about the phone uh, that the battery is not the user replaceable and uh, on the front we have a 5 megapixel camera so that is also interesting and we have the Lenovo branding uh, and on the bottom we have three uh, touch type capacitive buttons and let's quickly just start this phone now and actually it's very light uh, the weight is just 121 grams and it feels the phone feels very light actually the Nexus 5 is also a very light phone but this Lenovo Vibex feels even lighter than that and again regarding the screen it's a 5 inch screen and it's a full HD 1080p screen that means the PPI will come to about 441 and as you can see it says Lenovo.com over here and it should boot in quickly I've already set it up the basic settings so as you can see uh, this is the basic lock screen let me just unlock it and uh, regarding the processor it is uh, powered by a MediaTek processor that's a quad core processor so let's look at the uh, info let me just swipe down so as you can see we have these quick toggles over here you can adjust the brightness etc everything from here and let's go to the settings and uh, also the ram on this phone is 2 gb let's go to system information and first let's look at the uh, version of android that comes with this one version info and as you can see it's standard version 4.2.2 that is chili bean let me go back this is the back button this is home and this is for the uh, menu and it gives you haptic feedback whenever you touch these buttons let me just go back once more regarding the internal storage it comes in two variants 16 and 32 gb the one we have is 16 gb so let's look at the storage now 
and out of that 16 GB as you can see we get about 11.75 GB of available storage and uh, let me also show you the display options we have a LED notification light over here and you can adjust that and we also do have the auto brightness sensor as you can see I'll just keep it on manual right now and uh, LED notification settings you have uh, you can enable it for missed calls or Android messages so let me just go back and uh, again it's a little bit different as you can see we also have these uh, smart features like decrease the volume automatically smart answer etc uh, shake to unlock and stuff like that that we see uh, commonly in many of the Samsung phones and again it will take you a little bit of time to get used to this one let's uh, connect to my Wi-Fi network now so it's quickly connected to my Wi-Fi network and uh, and it also says if uh, the wireless LAN is not available it will directly connect to 3G I'll just disable that for now and uh, this is the stock skin and it is a bit different I would say uh, compared to some other phones uh, let me see if we get this uh, gesture no we don't have yeah we do have that gestures and you can add a lot more screens I do see a little bit of lagginess here and you can get to the widgets also via this one and let's uh, just uh, fire up the default browser and uh, as you can see they have all folders also and uh, quite a bit of apps are actually preloaded on this phone so that's interesting we also have a power manager here and it says that uh, it will get 76 hours uh, of battery life. Let's open up this uh, web browser and let's check that out. Let's just go to our website. And as you can see, this is the keyboard. It's the stock Android keyboard that we see in many of the phones. And let's go to our website. And this is the first time that uh, we are going to tech2bus.com on this phone. And again, if you notice, it loads it actually pretty quickly. And again, the screen is actually pretty sharp. Let me zoom in a little bit. As you can see, the screen is very sharp. Let's try the pinch to zoom gesture. It's pretty responsive. It'll be interesting to see how this uh, phone handles gaming because the GPU on this is a Power VR SGX uh, 544. And let's just open up uh, one of the stories uh, because it has a YouTube video and let's see how it handles that one and let me change the orientation and that was quick so let's open up this uh, video Hi, this and let me maximize the volume and I have the Sony Xperia M and in this video we're going to look at the camera performance the rate we are at the max volume shooter. We have a LED flash and it can also let me just go back uh, the volume levels were fine but at the max volume it was cracking a bit I'll test that a uh, lot more later on and let's also look at the camera again it's heavily skinned uh, the what do you say by Lenovo uh, so it looks a little bit different let's open the camera app and this also looks like it's heavily skinned yes uh, we are at 13 megapixel uh, actually uh, on wide screen it goes to 9 megapixel uh, if you want uh, 4 by 3 aspect ratio you can go to what do you say uh, 13 megapixel so let's just quickly uh, take some snaps uh, with this one now. Let me just have this Motorola box. And actually it's pretty quick to focus. And as you can see, it makes that noise while focusing. So let's look at these are the two photographs that I took. Again, uh, there is a little bit of noise here in the pictures. Again, I'll test the camera a lot more. Uh, so we'll know that a bit later. So this is the Lenovo Vibe X by uh, Lenovo. A very, uh, what do you say, a slim phone and a very light phone. I'll also do a gaming review for this Vibe X to see how it handles some heavy games because though it's a quad core, it's just a MediaTek processor with the Power VRS GX GPU. And I don't think so. That's a very powerful combination for a 1080p panel. That's it for now for this quick unboxing. Thank you. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.